So what is a good antioxidant? Hi everyone, this is Dr. Roland here from the KL Sky Clinic and today I'm going to talk about antioxidants. I'm pretty sure that you have listened and heard about antioxidants and, and maybe purchased a lot of antioxidants from vitamin C to glutathione to NAC and stuff. So what is antioxidant? So to simplify antioxidants very simple, our body does a lot of oxidative processes. For example, the food that we consume is actually burned down in a molecular position in our cells. So this burning down process produces energy, heat and also byproducts. Imagine when you're cooking in the kitchen, as you cook, there's going to be heat, there's going to be vapor, there's going to be smoke. Imagine those free radicals are in the smoke or some byproducts after you cook. So in order to do the cleanup, these antioxidants go and bind with these free radicals and remove these toxins out from the body. So that's how simplified I can actually get with antioxidants. But there are many kinds of antioxidants out there. But what you must understand is something known as ORAC value. The ORAC value will be the predetermined position to understand what kind of antioxidants you need and how much are you actually getting. Does your fruits have the high ORAC value, does the vegetables that you take have high ORAC value, is your omega-3 supplements providing you the ORAC value or even some other supplements like vitamin C, glutathione, n acetacetin providing you that ORAC value. And what is ORAC value? So ORAC value is oxygen radical absorption capacity. Oxygen radical absorption capacity. So this is the ability for these free radicals to be binded with the help of antioxidants and antioxidants can range from uh, polyphenols, from plants, synthetic pharmaceutical products etc. So uh, what would I use? It's really subjected to the patient of what they need but I would like to prefer to go on a product that actually has already stated the value of the ORAC value so we know how much our patients are getting. So there's one, what, one, one product that I actually like to use in our clinic. Uh, it has uh, almost more than 60,000 to almost close to 100,000 ORAC value. That's pretty, pretty high of an ORAC value. It comes mixed with uh, 11 uh, vegetables and 11 uh, fruits. And most of these ingredients come from the skin of fruits. Why do I say that? Take example of an apple. When you leave an apple on the, your window and leave it for weeks or even months, what happens is the apple loses its water position and starts to ripple down and shrink. But you see the integrity of the apple is still intact. The skin is still intact, just ripple down. But when you cut an apple into half in just a couple of hours, you start realizing that the intake, the, in, the ingredient or the, or the surface of the apple starts to change color. And that is a form of oxidation. Now, if you have another alternative where you apply maybe some vitamin C or some oil and stuff, what it does is it delays that antioxidant, that oxidation position. So what we can see and understand now is the skin of the apple was actually protecting the content of it from being oxidized. So most plants and vegetables, the skin has the highest amount of uh, antioxidants. But unfortunately, we end up throwing them. We end up skinning them out because it's hard for us to digest and stuff. But with technology, uh, we have some good antioxidants, or what I'm having uh, with me here. This antioxidant is very good, has almost close to about 60 to 100,000 uh, uh, ORAC value and it helps actually reduces the free radicals. So whether if you are having some illnesses that your inflammation is high in the body, whether you can't sleep, whether you are recovering from uh, a disease, whether you are suffering from uh, a post-operative procedure where you have lots and lots of free radicals, you want these good components to get into your body to do the breakdown and reabsorption or binding of the free radicals and flush them out from your body. So that's as simple as it gets. Hope you have learned something from today. I'll see you in the next episode. Meantime, please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. 
see you next in the next episode bye bye